attempting to be alive this morning. Well, I suppose it's afternoon now, huh? Oh, God. Yeah, trying to be alive. Took vitamins, caffeinated. Try to get moving. Thought maybe if I walked around the park and hung out in nature for a while, I would become alive again or something. Alcohol is bad. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Don't drink alcohol. It's bad. Note to self. In like a week without me, I just got so fed up with bullshit that I was like, fuck it, I'm drinking. Which is always a good idea. Not. <sighs> God. Oh, man. It will be good this time. <laughs> it wasn't. I left some stupid videos like <laughs> retardation. Fuck. <clears throat> oh my god. Drunk is not good. <sighs> wandering, wandering. Indians scattered on Don's highway bleeding. Ghosts crowd the young child's fragile eggshell mind. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Dude. I just want to fucking sit down somewhere. To walk miles to get to a place to sit down. It's almost as bad as finding a place to park the car. Yeah, you know, you notice this crap uh, when you're dashing and if you're like thinking like it's possible you could become homeless or something. You start thinking about this shit, you know. And the thing I noticed that really stands out to me is uh, how much of a pain in the ass it is to find anywhere to pull over. Well, I don't know. Maybe most people probably haven't even noticed this shit. You notice, or have you, when you're out driving around, you ever, have, you ever just want to pull over somewhere? I don't know. Maybe you want to find something in your car. You drop something. Whatever the reason is. Right? You just want to pull over somewhere for a minute. Notice how you have to drive like miles and miles and miles just to find somewhere to pull over for a minute. And even when you do find somewhere to pull over, you feel like, you know, like at any moment someone could come along and tell you, get out of here, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Well, so that's what it must be like to live in your car, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, I just want to get a nap. I just want to sleep a little while. You're not allowed to park here. You need to leave. Right? That's what the fuck would happen, dude. Fuck that. I don't know, man. Like, there's... It's so fucking hot. The world outside is so goddamn hostile now. That I can't... I, I don't even know how the fuck homeless people manage to even be alive. It's so fucking hostile now. Like, how the fuck are they even alive? I mean, how do they... How, do they ever... Are they ever able to sleep? Like, how is that... 
How do, how do they manage to sleep and not have something? Because we live in a world that seems like people just fuck with you and follow you around and fuck with you and fuck with you and fuck with you constantly. And, like, you can't really get away from people this, that are just trying to fuck with you. You know? I have to... I try... I have to leave town, you know, come out to a park, and I don't know how many minutes I'll have before somebody comes along to fuck with me here. Like, I don't know. You go way the fuck up in the woods and give it 20, 30 minutes, somebody will come along to fuck with you there. Like, it's just... <laughs> it's just... You could take a goddamn spaceship to the moon and be like, finally, I found peace. Maybe an hour or two, maybe a day goes by. All of a sudden, you're mobbed by hundreds of people. Hey, how's it going? Oh, fuck. <laughs> All the tweakers move to the moon. What do you know? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. They got lots of time on their hands. I'd probably be building rocket ships or something if I got out of here. We go fucking build rockets so we can fuck with them on the moon. I don't know, man. <sighs> Be up 24 7, 365. Oh, God. I think I should have just stayed in my apartment. Just laid the fuck down, sleep all day. I don't think this, the idea of getting up so I can have energy to go dash is a good idea. I was gonna try, but hindsight 2020, I think I should've just stayed the fuck there. Well, I guess I'm out in nature, so that's nice, I suppose. Kind of nature. Yeah, I think I'll take the day off. I thought maybe if I fucking took vitamins, took some ginseng, got myself dressed, caffeinated, go walk around. <sighs> maybe I'd feel like going out and dashing. I don't think so. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. I need to get back out there. Stop fucking off. I don't know, I've been out dashing every fucking day. DoorDash, Uber. I'm just, I got so fed up with it that I, fucking drink again. Been like a week without a drink. And I got fucking shit faced last night. Ugh. I was cleaned up now. I'm all greasy. Sweating. It's hot out. Not as hot as it has been, but still hot. Some in the 80s or something. Better than 108, 109. Fuck, I was dashing when it was like 100, 109. A couple days. That's fun. I'm getting these damn... I don't know. I don't know if it's... 
heat rash or what the fuck. Getting this shit, all these little tiny little bumps popping up on my skin. I lean up against the seat or something. It feels like I'm laying up against, leaning up against a cactus or something. Super sensitive skin. Just sweating and sweating and sweating. Oh God. so fucking pointless honestly doing DoorDash whatever you know chasing the money spending the days chasing the money so I can pay the rent on a place I hate to live somewhere I hate surrounded by people that it, I don't know I'd, I'd like to be thousands of miles away honestly a million fucking miles away the moon that might be I don't know I thought you know fuck the moon dude the moon is the fucking Death Star, man. True story. You know, that's... You know how, like... Did you know that, like, if you go... if you, At night, when the moon is out, if, you come, if you're in the shade, it's warmer than if you go under the moonlight. The moon makes things colder. You know, the moon, the moon makes things die. Like, that's why plants die and so on and so forth. The moon. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shit, for all we know, if the moon wasn't there, maybe we would, you know, be eternal or something. We age and die because the moon, that, that's what's wrong. That's, that's why. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the Death Star, they don't call it the Death Star for nothing. Shit. No, how, how would people not put that together? You know, you watch Star Wars, it's like a giant ship looks exactly like the moon the Death Star, right? And then you look up and you're like, oh, it's the moon. It's responsible for the tides in the ocean and all this shit. You know that our bodies are made up mostly of water? So if the moon is doing that to the ocean, what's it doing to us? That's what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> Nuke the moon. Yeah. Let me get a bump. That should be a bumper sticker. Nuke the moon. <sighs> I get uh, George to throw a lasso around it. I want the moon, Mary? I'll get, I'll get you the moon. Alright. Alright then.